What's going on YouTube? I've been asked quite a few times now to demonstrate how I gel my monolights. I talk all the time about how I like to use gels both outside, inside, for effect, for balance. I use gels all the time. And one of the most annoying things about using gels is that they don't particularly work well with larger modifiers. Because you would either need a gigantic sheet, if you're using a 60 inch octobox, you would need a 60 inch piece of gel which A, isn't easy to come by, B, isn't economical, C, it's not easy to use. It's just frustrating overall. So I found that gelling by the source, gelling at the bulb is actually a much easier way to use gels. Now, there isn't any type of gels on the market that are custom fit for like the Explorer 600 or maybe even other monolites. So here's what I do. All I did was take a measurement of the circumference around the actual flash bulb. So I took a ruler and I wrapped it around, or you can actually just take a gel sheet and wrap it around and then mark the area where they would meet again. So from there, you have a piece of gel that'll fit right around your actual bulb. Now there is a glass dome protecting from the actual flash tube that you don't have to worry about getting too hot. So once you have something that wraps right around that, all you need is something to secure it down. I use a two inch silicone cooking band, which is meant to take a lot of heat. So that way, even if it does get really hot, if I'm using it at full power, I don't have to worry about the band exploding and the gel falling off. The one thing that I make sure to do is to not cover up these holes on the bottom because that's where the heat escapes. So you still want to leave that little pathway. But I got to tell you, I've used this at full power and I have had it slide down on me where it is covering the holes and I still didn't have any issues with gels melting or anything like that. Now I do make sure to leave it substantially longer than the actual bulb and that's because this is an omnidirectional bulb. The power is going to come out the sides as well as the front. The more length you have from the gel, the more of that light is actually going to turn the color. Now it does leave that hole in the center. So this is the way I've been doing it for a long time. However, there might actually be a little bit better of a way. A friend of mine named Brian Troll actually sent me some gels that he made that are actually gonna work a lot better than the design of mine, and they're gonna eliminate that problem of the open area where white light is still gonna get through. You guys might remember Brian, he was actually all over photography blogs earlier this year when he made a working Nikon camera Halloween costume. He was actually in a gigantic Nikon body that actually functioned and took photos. It was pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to that story in the description if you guys wanna check that out if you haven't heard about it. But Brian sent me some custom cut gels of all different sizes. As you can see here, they're more of a cross shape and he even labeled them all the different CTO and everything. Now if we take one of these cross shapes and we go right over the top, use again, nice strong silicone cooking band, bring it down over the bowl. This one's a little bit fit more finicky to put on, but once you get it on, there we go. So once you get it on and straighten it out a little bit, boom. Now we have coverage at the top as well as all around the sides. I'm definitely going to be keeping these in my bag as opposed to my old method, though this is a quick nitty gritty way if you want it to work. This is definitely going to give you more accurate temperature. Now Brian is actually selling pre-cut sets of these for the Explorer 600 and I think he might be doing it for the 8360 as well, I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to link his store in the description if you guys are interested in picking up a set of these or you can do it the old fashioned way. But the point remains is that you can actually gel at the source on these and then you're free to use any modifier you want. Beauty dishes, you can use soft boxes, umbrellas with the reflector, anything you want. Your whole mount is still accessible and there's no gels flapping around, there's no partial coloring. This is definitely the ultimate solution in gelling your flash and having it fit perfectly and getting really accurate control of your flash in any circumstance. If you're working with a different light, 
do it at your own risk, but I've tested this at full power quite a bit and never had any issues. The gel, as well as the band, they're heat resistant, especially to the temperatures that this glass gets to. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it helped you out. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more and comment with any questions. Follow me on Snapchat for behind the scenes, Twitter for deals on photography gear, and Instagram to see my work. Lastly, I have a Facebook group as a discussion forum, which is linked in the description. Take it easy, YouTube.